what you would I would consider to be a hundred dollar task, a hundred dollar an hour task. You know, and these are things that you're doing to put your business in front of more eyeballs. So that could be creating content, running ads, I'm saying in emails, like different things like that. What are you doing to generate leads and get your your service, get your business, get your brand in front of more eyeballs to generate opportunities for yourself? Right. So anything that goes into that bucket, that will be considered like things that you're doing to really grow your business. Okay, that's good. So yeah, basically really, really powerful stuff. Obviously, every business, the lifeblood of it is lead generation. So if you don't have leads, you don't have anything. It's like, you know, a, a business can kind of seem like a large bucket with holes going through it, and then you have a tap on. And the tap is basically your lead flow. If you have a dribble of lead flow going in, it doesn't matter how good you are at filling the holes in the bucket, nothing else is going to matter. So you have to turn that tap on enough that you then start having other problems further down the line. The yeah. second area that we mentioned was booking appointments. So what's like the process involved with actually being able to do that? So like with booking appointments, um, especially for like an online fitness business is having actual conversations, yeah. sales conversations with prospective clients that turn into consultations mm -hmm. and appointments in the actual calendar. So, and that's really just having conversations with prospect, prospecting, initiating conversations and turning those conversations into bookings and mm -hmm. opportunities in your calendar. Yeah. So some really simple examples of this would be that, you know, people have kind of looked at your stuff, they've clicked into an opt-in or something like that. And now you might be ch chatting to them in either many chat or Facebook messenger or something along those lines, right? Exactly. So yep. any channel that you're using to have like actual personalized conversation with your prospects, that will be a part of like generating the bookings. Yeah. And I suppose one of the differences between say paid ads and organic is that if you're doing it organically, you're probably reaching out to people and like sort of the equivalent of like door knocking, like cold DMing, you know, going into groups to find people. Whereas if you're doing paid ad strategies, t typically these people have opted in. So the people that weren't interested, they've already, you know, they've already kind of either discarded your ad or they're not interested. That is one of the real benefits in conversations if you do paid is that basically you're dealing with people that have actually opted in. So they don't feel like you're kind of invading their space. Yeah, you get to you get to put your ads in front of people who are interested in what you have to offer. Hey!